Hey, Toy fans, D21 Beast Rob here, back with another quick vlog for you guys here today. We've got a lot to talk about. A lot's happened recently. Most recently, it looks like ABC has canceled Agent Carter, the TV series, which really kills me. I absolutely loved that show. Thought it was a perfect mid-season replacement for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I love that ABC even took a chance on doing a whole new show during the mid-season break for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I guess enough people weren't watching the TV series, which is really a shame. Uh, it was a series that was kind of set at the beginning of S.H.I.E.L.D., the actual organization. Uh, uh, Haley Atwell was amazing as Peggy Carter on that show. There were some great characters on the show, from Howard Stark to Dottie to Jarvis. I mean, really, it was just a lot of fun to watch. Production values were through the roof. Really sold the 1940s in the first season, and then the 1950s in the second season. Big band era music. Really, I'm just gushing over the show because I'm that big of a fan of it, and I really wish more people would have checked it out. I think season one's on Netflix, so if you guys haven't checked it out yet, definitely give it a look. I really think it's worth your time and investment, and it's only 13 episodes, I think, or maybe even 10 episodes in the first season or maybe even eight I'm forgetting now it's a really short season but definitely one you guys want to check out and the first season especially serves as sort of a interquel between Captain America the first Avenger and Captain America Winter Soldier or even the first Avenger movie to some extent so really check it out guys it's worth your time but anyway so that's been canceled and that's kind of depressing also Disney Infinity a game that I actually played quite a bit with my son and one that my brother Greg co-host of uh, Project Geek Week uh, that he had actually covered a lot on his website that game's been flat out canceled, which who saw that coming? I mean, this is Disney we're talking about. And I guess Avalanche Studios, the, the company that Disney kind of hired on uh, to actually make the game after being in business for 22 years, now just completely kaput. And it looks like the biggest issue they had was oversaturation in the market of all those uh, Toys to Life figures. So, and I gotta say, I've, I've seen a ton of them everywhere. It's really a sad story though. I mean, Disney Infinity had its flaws for sure, namely not enough story content to play for all of the, the toys that they put out. But, you know, it's just really too bad, I guess. I mean, that was a great game for kids of all ages. And I think around 300 people, uh, last I read, uh, were just suddenly out of a job. So, um, you know, our thoughts go out to uh, the folks at Avalanche and the other studios at Disney also closed in their video game department. But really, such a shock, one I definitely didn't see coming. Um, but I'm still looking forward to getting up the rest of, the, or picking up rather, the rest of the Marvel figures I don't yet have. Don't know if I'm going to pick up the Finding Dory playset, and I have zero interest at all in Alice Through the Looking Glass. I wasn't even that big of a fan of the live action Alice in Wonderland film from what, like five years ago now? It's been a while since that came out. So, um, more news there. Also, uh, in my personal life, I'm going to be moving again. Uh, it was about a year ago this time that I moved out to Kentucky, and now we're going back to Missouri. Uh, I got a new job, so that's great, but now I've got to pack everything back up. So, uh, here in the next couple of weeks, reviews may dry up for a little bit while I get things moved and get situated in my new position, but uh, just know that the reviews will come back as soon as I can make time for them. The good thing is, uh, with the place I'm going to now, I won't uh, be working three nights a week on top of being unavailable throughout the entire day. Um, I'd been a stay-at-home dad for the last year, couldn't do anything really uh, video content-wise from about seven in the morning till about six at night, and then three nights a week, uh, and even on the weekend, I would be closing um, at a uh, local grocery store here. So uh, now I've got a real-world job. I'm gonna be a video producer back where I'm moving, so really excited about that. So it should give me more time to do more videos and also more time with my family, which would be great. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, also. So coming up uh, next week is Planet Comic Con Kansas City. It's an annual event anymore for me. Um, and with Greg from Project Geek Week and even Jeff, uh, we're going to be going to that again next week. It's May 20th through 22nd, so that's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you guys are going to be in Kansas City, I definitely encourage you to check this out. I think it's probably the best con that at least the state of Missouri has. Uh, this year they've got Stan Lee, Kevin Smith, Haley Atwell is going to be there. So if you're fans of Agent Carter, you can go you know, thank her, I guess, for everything and and uh, say goodbye. But uh, really, the guest list is pretty impressive this year, and the creators are really nice this year, too. Uh, we got Humberto Ramos, of course, from uh, Superior Spider-Man, from uh, the Wolverine Civil War story, just lots of stuff he's done for Marvel lately. Uh, Phil Hester, uh, a perennial guest for me, uh, a guy who did Irredeemable Ant-Man and did Green Arrow. Really nice guy if you have a chance to talk to him, but uh, really a fan. I'm a fan of his. I've been trying to read all of the stuff that he's done the artwork for. Uh, Jason Aaron's going to be there. So if you read the uh, new Marvel Star Wars comic, um, I think he may actually be stepping away from the book, if I'm not mistaken, sometime in the near future, but he's been writing it most of the time. He also did Wolverine and the X-Men. He did Thor's. Really a big writer for Marvel right now.
and even Mark Texeira, uh, who I don't know what he's doing currently, but I was a huge fan of his work on Ghost Rider around the time that Civil War happened and uh, World War Hulk. Uh, great sort of, um, it's not painted, I think, I'm kind of not sure how you describe the style. If one of you guys in the comments want to let me know, but it's almost like a colored pencil style uh, to the way he draws things, and I'm a really big fan of that. Like I said, his Ghost Rider work was phenomenal, so looking forward to getting a chance to meet that guy as well. So I'm really excited for Planet Comic Con. If you guys are going to be in Kansas City and going to be in the area, Area, uh, feel free to tweet me uh, at D21Beast if you want to say hi or whatever. I'd be happy to shake hands with you or just you know talk to you about what you're at the con for. So I'm going to be going for some Build-A-Figure pieces, probably be looking up uh, some Iron Spidey comics. I'm, my favorite Spider-Man costume is the Iron Spidey costume, and I've been trying to collect every issue that features the Iron Spidey armor. So probably going to continue that sort of, that trend. Uh, I got the Tarantulas Beast War last year that I featured in uh, 13 Days of Halloween. Probably be looking for some more Beast Wars. Just kind of stuff I'm going into right now now. Of course, I want to do panels. Um, I'm going to be doing an evening with Kevin Smith on Saturday night. That should be a lot of fun. Uh, that's selling up quickly, though, so if you guys want to go to that, you may have missed your chance, but you may want to check. I'll put the link to the actual Planet Comic Con website in the description below. So, big event coming up. Like It's kind of my San Diego. Uh, you know, It's an easier con to get into, so I'm really, really looking forward to that. Uh, next up, let's talk contest winners. So I've done two contests recently. Uh, the first one that I did was for some Hero Squad trading cards and then the uh, digital code for Star Wars The Force Awakens because my Blu-ray came with two. So um, we're going to do a roll for those to see who wins those. And we're going to do a roll for the Deadpool code. I recently did an unboxing of the Target Edition of the Deadpool Blu-ray with the postcards and uh, give you guys um, a request or a challenge uh, to go ahead and uh, let me know that you're interested in getting a free digital code for that film. So Let's cut away really quick. I guess we'll first do the codes for Deadpool, and then we'll do the codes for the Hero Squad cards and the Star Wars uh, digital code. All right, Toy Fan, so here's the spin for Deadpool. Congratulations, NerdBot37. All right, and now for the winner of the Superhero Squad cards and the code for Star Wars The Force Awakens. Forgotten Tactic, congratulations! All right, and congratulations to the winners. Uh, like I've done in the past, if you guys want to go ahead and direct message me, you can do it on YouTube, you can do it on Instagram, you can do it on Twitter. Uh, if you do it on you or if you do it on YouTube, go to my about page and send me a direct message link. Um, and if you would even let me know in the comments below once you've done that. Sometimes YouTube's not great about notifying you when you have a new message, but send me a message, a direct message over YouTube, so I can talk about how I'm going to get that content to you, uh, whether it be the digital code, which I'll just go ahead and type to you in a message, or in the case of the booster pack. Um, send me a direct message so I can get your address so I can get that mailed out to you. Um, alternatively though, and my preferred method of contact if it's easy for you guys, is actually to send me a message on Instagram or Twitter at d 21 beach just through their direct message systems, and I'll be happy to catch up with you guys there. At least those two services do a better job of notifying me once I have a message in my inbox. So, congratulations to the winners. Thank you for everyone else who played. I will be doing more contests. I'm not sure when I'm going to be doing them, but they will be coming up, so just stick to my channel. I like doing stuff for you guys when I can. Uh, uh, also, uh, an interesting find that I picked up recently. I found this uh, Minimates Max Tech uh, Jet playset, I guess, or I don't know, it's a vehicle, I suppose. It's from a line of Minimates that Diamond Select did, oh man, what was it, like six years ago? It was a while ago. And um, it's completely original, not based on any licensed property that they have, but the cool thing about it is this jet is a blue jet with a red dome window. I saw this thing and thought, this is going to look amazing with any X-Men Minimates. I'm kind of looking at it like a mini black Bird, or even those mini jets that they had on the 90s animated series. So really excited to check this out. I'm going to be reviewing this soon. I wanted to have this in my collection for when the Giant Size X-Men box set came out later this summer. And if you guys haven't noticed behind me already, I picked up the Peter Venkman and the Egon Diamond Select figures. Unless something changes about these figures, these will probably be the last of the Diamond Select Ghostbusters that I pick up. I just haven't been as impressed as I wanted to be with the figures, but I wanted to finish out the entire set of four. So those reviews are coming up soon as well. So that's basically everything that I've got going on right now. Uh, thanks for checking in with me, guys. Let me know your thoughts on Agent Carter if you watched it, your thoughts on Disney Infinity if you played it, uh, maybe even the guests that are coming to Planet Comic Con. Are you guys going to be there? Who are you interested in seeing? As always, guys, keep up with me on Twitter and Instagram at D21Beast, and you can always subscribe to my channel for more content, and I'll see you guys next time.